Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Bomb Bomb to Mods. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for the last test content. So here we go. It seems as if every other week brings a new Porsche, because it very nearly does, at least in 2021. Fresh off introductions of the Tegan Sport Turismo, the 911 GT3, and the KN Turbo GT, the German brand is keeping the pressure on with the release of the 2022 Macan. Which is noteworthy not just for its new refinements, but for the shakeup at the top of its model range. The previous turbo model is dead, replaced by a highly compelling, fortified Macan GTS. Providing the heat in the GTS is the same engine that powered last year's turbo model, a twin turbocharged 2.9 liter V6 rated at 434 horsepower and 405 pound feet of torque, which amount to increases of 59 horses and 22 pound feet over the previous GTS. All Macans also come standard with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission and all-wheel drive, which combined to push the GTS into the genuinely fun category of athleticism. As expected, the updated GTS posts the same heady 3.5 second 60 miles per hour time as the outgoing turbo, plus a similar 12.1 second quarter mile at 112 miles per hour being a Porsche, however. The Macan is not all about going quickly in a straight line, and that's especially true for models wearing the GTS badge. When we drove the previous iteration of the Macan GTS, we noted that its responsive and accurate steering seems to have been plucked right from a 718 GTS. While that's generally still the case, the helm remains nicely weighted and highly direct, the Macan does feel a bit shorter on feedback than we remember, as its contact patch is load and unload in corners. This quibble aside, the GTS remains impressively responsive and engaging, and is one of very few crossovers that feels as composed on a racetrack as on the street. Opting for the $12,010 GTS Sport package also brings launch control provided by the Sport Corona package, an electronically controlled limited slip rear differential, 18-way adaptive sport seats, and blacked-out exterior details. But even the regular 2022 Macan has plenty to brag about, including retuned adaptive dampers and air springs, the latter of which situate the GTS 0.4 inch lower than lesser versions. While Porsche's enhanced tungsten carbide coated brake rotors are standard on GTS models sold in the US, the Europe market car we tested was equipped with a surprisingly smooth carbon ceramic brake option that Porsche cut from the Macan's US options list for 2021, because so few people splurged on. Them. But the GTS's standard stoppers are plenty strong and match the hustle this crossover shows in corners. Far from feeling like a top-heavy SUV tuned to understeer at the first hint of lateral loads, the GTS drives like a high-riding hot hatchback. Its adaptive dampers and air springs are now 10% firmer in front and 15% firmer at the rear. Fitted with sticky 21-inch Pirelli P0 Casa PZC for summer tires, our test car posted a strong 0.98 grams of skid pad grip and a tidy 148-foot stop from 70 miles per hour. It also demonstrated impressively neutral handling when tossed around Michigan's twisty Grattan Raceway, tucking into corners with little hesitation and commendable poise. Just remember that the GTS is still a relatively heavy thing for track work. Although braking performance never faded, even the carbon ceramic brakes on our 4,332-pound test car quickly grew hotter than we'd like, causing the left pedal to go a little soft after a few laps. Speaking of handling, it's fair to wonder whether the Macan GTS goes too far in this area, compromising comfort in the pursuit of chassis performance that buyers will likely never exploit. Thankfully, it doesn't. As we learned in transitioning from the relatively smooth asphalt of Angeles Crest Highway onto the rougher, chunkier pavement of Angeles Forest Highway and Big Tujunga Canyon Road. The GTS's drive modes have a meaningful impact on its character. There's a noticeable difference between its Sport and Sport Plus settings, with the latter significantly enhancing the responses of the drivetrain yet allowing a bit too many road imperfections to be transmitted into the cabin. On the rougher road surrounding our Michigan home base, the greater compliance afforded by the damper softer sport mode is definitely the way to go. When we drove a prototype of the 2022 Porsche Macan GTS, we noted that its exterior and interior updates were rather mild. That's still true for the production version, but the handful of revisions that have been made are effective in keeping the Macan's look fresh. Inside, the digital instrument panel and the touch-sensitive center console controls are now on par with Porsche's contemporary lineup. 
and GTS models get additional welcome interior upgrades, including the GT Sport steering wheel from the latest 911, plus Alcantara trim sport seats. Three GTS Sport package specific exterior colors ensure you'll turn heads. As with the rest of the 2022 Macan range, the GTS benefits from technology and infotainment updates, such as a 10.9-inch touchscreen and standard wireless Apple CarPlay connectivity, as well as upgrades to its Bose and Burmester audio systems. Unsurprisingly, the GTS updates result in a healthy price increase, the $81. 250 base ask is $7,800 more than last year's version but the 2022 model is still several thousand dollars cheaper than the outgoing turbo. Flush with options, the grandest being the GTS Sport package, our example came to an as-tested $104,410. Compare the behind-the-wheel vibe of the 2022 Macan GTS with that of its key competitors, the BMW X3M and the Mercedes-AMG LC63. And you realize it's not really competing with them at all, the more powerful, the BMW, and the AIM are competing with each other. While the Porsche is in a different class of driver involvement and handling precision. Factor in the updated model's additional power and that none of its enhancements compromise its core mission as a practical compact crossover, and the new GTS is the best Macan yet. The 2022 Porsche Macan can dice it up with sports sedans on a racetrack and carry a reasonable cart full of groceries home from Costco. Offering a trio of turbocharged engines, the lineup culminates in the performance-oriented GTS model with a 434-horsepower twin-turbo V6. But no matter which engine you choose, the Macan's chassis is an athletic partner that goads you to hit apex after apex. All models come with all-wheel drive as standard, and those who want to enhance the crossover's handling can do so via several options, including summer tires, an adaptive suspension a torque vectoring differential, and tungsten carbide coated rotors. Yes, it's an SUV, but it's also very much a Porsche. The Macan standard interior fittings are a disappointment in the crossover of this price and provenance, and it's expensive to outfit one in a manner that will fit the Porsche crest. There's also less space for backseat passengers in the Macan than in most competitors. The power adjustable seats for the driver and front passenger, while comfortable, are the only pieces of standard interior equipment that feel luxurious. You could have the whole interior draped in leather, which would partly address the issue. But Porsche, living up to its price-gouging reputation, requires an extra $2,230 just to cover the dashboard and doors in cowhide. A puny cargo hold and small interior cubbies make the Macan one of the least practical vehicles in this segment. But when has buying a Porsche ever been a rational choice? We fit 6 carry-on bags in behind the bench and 16 with the rear seats folded, which should be enough for most people. So that's all about 2022 Porsche Macan GTS. See you on the next video.